How's it going everyone? It's Ryder here and welcome back to another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe discussion video here on the channel. Today we'll be discussing a few quote unquote leaks that have surfaced for the game recently. Now I go and say leaks with quotes because some parts of these leaks seem not real but also could be because Nintendo has leaked a lot of things with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe lately and in the past with stuff like prefixes and music so I'm not going to fully say that some of these couldn't happen but I'll explain that a bit more in depth in this video and with the specific leak in question. If you do go and enjoy this video make sure to subscribe and leave a comment of your thoughts on these potential leaks. Without further ado let's talk about these leaks. I highly doubt that most of these are real but some do do have factual evidence behind them that could potentially be led to be real. However, just take them all with a grain of salt since these could possibly be fake. The first potential leak is a character one. So not too long ago in a now deleted post, a user on reddit posted a character leak that emerged from wave 3 of the booster course pass, stating there were new characters and a few course files were added in the drivers and courses folders. There are a total of 14 characters, which funny enough is what I went and predicted from my character predictions video. I tried to decipher for them from the best I could so bear with me on this if I'm not fully exact with the names. I think all of them are playable in Marketor as well so this could very well be correct. The first one is called bombking.scs which most likely stands for King Bomb. -om. The second one is boozepakan.scs which pakan in English is piranha plant so this most likely means PD piranha. The third is broshammer.scs which is obviously hammer bro. The fourth is bull.scs, which is I assume is charging Chuck. The fifth is Catherine.scs, which is Birdo's Japanese name. The sixth is Choropu.scs, which is multi mole's name in Japanese. The seventh is Diddy Kong.scs, which clearly is Diddy Kong. The eighth is Dixie Kong.scs, which means Dixie Kong, no doubt. The ninth I will talk a bit more later about since it seems to be the only character not currently in Mario Kart Tour. The 10th is FK.SES, which most likely stands for Funky Kong. The 11th is Kemek.SES, which is Kamek. The 12th is Noko Noko Race.SES, which I'm pretty sure is Koopa Freerunning, but I could be wrong about that. It could also be Paratroopa, but I'm going to go with Freerunning since Race is a part of the file's name. The 13th file is Pauline.SES, which is Pauline. And finally, the 14th is Toten or Totten, I don't know how to actually say it, is which is Nabbit's name in Japanese. Back to what I said earlier, the supposedly ninth leaked character is a character not yet playable in any Mario Kart game. This one is called .mario.ses, which stands for the pixelated Mario. This one I find to be so interesting and goofy since it would be really weird racing as a pixelated driver like this. However, my guess is that this could very well be the SNES Mario skin from Mario Kart Tour, but that's just my guess. Now, there were three tracks leaked as well, those being Wii DK Summit, DS Mario Circuit, and apparently a city track this leaker couldn't decide on. Now, that is it for this leak. However, is this something we should trust? Well, normally leaks we shouldn't be trusting anyways, and when it comes to deciding on this one, I'm honestly not sure. This leaker did call DK Summit and DS Mario Circuit way before they got announced, and stated new characters were data mined. Reminder that this was leaked before Birdo got announced for Wave 4. However, this leaker did end up deleting the post, which could have been to just fool people and decided to delete it or Nintendo could have taken this down themselves. Who knows what happened? In my opinion, I think it's fake, but I find it really odd they did call a few things that ended up getting announced recently, but I digress. Let me know down below what you think of the leak because I am not sure whether or not to believe this one. I guess we will probably figure this one out anyways once Birdo releases Thursday, so we may get a sneak peek on how many characters will be coming. The next one we'll be discussing is sort of leaked by Nintendo themselves, but I personally really don't know how to feel about this one either. So a lot of people in the Mario Kart community are assuming we are getting more DLC to Mario Kart Deluxe besides the Booster Course Pass, which could lead to a Booster Course Pass 2. People think this because of the wording Nintendo used at the end of their recent Wave 4 trailer, which didn't show the usual 8 course will be released at a time in waves until the end of 2023. This line was not present in the US or Japanese versions of the trailer, however it was present in the UK version. People have speculated on new Booster Course Pass, 
could be on the way after this current one, similar to how Smash Bros Ultimate worked. I know many may not like the sound of that, but personally, I'd be down for this to happen. I do see this very unlikely, however, and it does seem a little over the top for an almost 8 or 9 year old game still receiving DLC. But like I said, I wouldn't mind it. I do think some people are overthinking this a little, but you never know when it comes to Nintendo, they are always filled with amazing and sometimes bad surprises. This final leak I want to discuss also kind of comes from Nintendo, even though I think this one is more or less a graphical error on their part. So yet again, people are speculating a bunch of stuff with one screenshot from a Wave 4 track that came out the other day. The screenshot in question is of Tor Amsterdam Drift. What people are speculating about is Daisy. For some reason, Daisy doesn't have her crown in the screenshot of Amsterdam. What some of the community is saying is this could lead to Mario Kart Tour's costumes coming to the game, which honestly I could really see, especially since Nintendo is adding more original characters to the game, and they also didn't specify if some are going to be alternate costumes either. My guess to the screenshot, however, is Nintendo forgot to add her crown or on her head somehow, even though that sounds really stupid to say. Not fully sure what to think of this one either, since I could see it go both ways. Nintendo does have the habit of bringing a lot of Mario Kart content into the game, so I wouldn't be surprised if this actually became a thing. And that's basically it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed my thoughts on these potential leaks, if that's what you want to call them. I don't see it being any of them. I don't see any of them really being real. You really never know when it comes to Nintendo, like I've already said. I got this video idea from ZPL since he made a similar one over on his channel, so go and check out that one as well to see his perspective on these leaks. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below your thoughts on everything discussed in the video. Consider becoming a member to the channel if you'd like to have special perks and also join the Kart Lounge Discord server below if you love chatting about everything Mario Kart. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, bye bye.